Hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, thanks again for tuning in. And this time I have another special guest, a colleague of mine. And this time I have asked Siamala. She will introduce herself in a, in a minute or so. But I have asked her to give us a tour of where she's from. So I myself is very excited. So kids, here we go. So Siamala, can you tell us about yourself and introduce yourself? Okay. Thank you, Evelyn. I love this one. Hi everyone, hope you all are good. I'm from Sri Lanka and my name is Siamala. So my hope you know about Sri Lanka. It's a tiny, beautiful island. And I would encourage everyone to visit one day if possible. Or you can read a book about Sri Lanka. Oh, that would be great. Oh, I myself really, I haven't, I've heard of Sri Lanka and I've heard a lot of good things about it, like other places, you know, but it's the thing is I haven't been there. And I tell you that will be one in my list, not a bucket list because uh, they're like all over the place on my list, whichever comes first. And it's like, you know, if it, given the chance I can go there, then I'll go there. But I'm not very good with geography, so I'll ask Yamala. And so the ones of you that don't know where Sri Lanka is or where it's near, is it like an Asian part of an Asian country? Of course, and yes. which country is near to it? That's right. If you see the world map, southern part of India, you can see a tiny dot or a shape of a mango. Ooh. So that is Sri Lanka. Oh, that is delicious even. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So we love um, is it like yes. mango? So yes. we, we love, love all fruits, tasty, yummy fruits. We get uh, bananas, mangoes, lovely. Oh, I love mangoes, especially the green ones, mm -hmm. you know. So, and I know a lot of people and a lot of you kids love the yellow ripe mango in the Philippines. So, mm -hmm. that is so nice. And do you, what's your, um, what's the, is it like country, uh, I can even find the word, like the animal that they're, uh, we get um, crows, the birds, all over the place you can see a black crow, but in oh. the USA I haven't seen yet. Oh, okay. Is there anything that symbolizes the country? or The, the peacock. Uh, the peacock? Oh, okay. Wow, that's parrots. lovely. Peacocks and parrots are the colors, of course. And right. I was just... Um, complimenting Siamala, she have a lovely blouse that's on. So just hint, hint, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So after, you know, who knows? But anyway, so Siamala, thank you so much for this chance, for giving me the chance to give her, I mean, to ask her for an interview. And you know, uh, boys and girls, she's one of the busiest person as well. <laughs> and then Siamala does, what do you do again for the library? She'll tell you. I know, but I'll just let her explain it. Okay, so. Yes. In the library, I work as a technology pathways coordinator. So basically, I'm into the information technology field, IT field. Okay, so those of you who, who wanted to be in the IT field, which is really good, and a part of it is not really my field, but kind of a little bit. <laughs> so if you have questions and you wanted to know what it is, you can ask our expert, Siamala. And she's really good, you know. And so here we go, Siamala. Here are my questions. Okay. Let the drum roll. <laughs> no, we don't have a drum. So anyway, so how long, by the way, have you been in the library? completing my sixth month. Oh, wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And then where did you work before from the library? I came to the USA in 2020. Wow. Let's congratulate Siamala, even though, you know, so that it's kind of a little bit overdue because it's now the 23rd, but still, hey, welcome yeah. to the United States. Do you like it so mm, far? Of course. This is a wonderful place. People like Emily and oh. <laughs> others that treat me, so... yes, 
Good. Oh, okay. Likewise, uh, Siamala is a very nice person. I mean, now she's really good inside and out, and uh, she's been like a blessing to me as well. But I will not share that one right now because we will run out of time. And this is not about me, it's about Siamala. So, Siam, okay. yes, to answer your question, I'm sorry, I That's just okay. deviated from it. <laughs> That's okay. So, my first job in the USA is as a teacher assistant. I work for Patakat Public uh, School Department. So, it was lovely and I managed to work with elementary schools to high school. Wow. I work with kids. I love that. So now can see she is really good. I already told you that one and she's even a teacher. So guys, mm -hmm. listen up. <laughs> okay. So now see I'm a lefty. As far as you can you remember, how young were you when you started reading and do you love to read at all? Good question, Emily. I was thinking, what should I say? But I'm opening my heart. Kids, listen. I didn't read before when I, that means I didn't read and I didn't like to read when I was small. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a secret. Shh, quiet. But you guys have to read, okay? <laughs> but I started when I was 10 because my mom and dad was forcing me, so I have to read something. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a compulsory thing. Mm -hmm. Reading for a day is compulsory for us, mm -hmm. for me and my sister. Mm -hmm. And especially my dad wanted me to, wanted us to listen to the news mm -hmm. and also to read papers, newspapers. Oh, wow. So that is how I started reading because in newspapers, I need not to read the entire thing. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. And we used to pick the smallest <laughs> articles and finish reading. We did it. But later on, we thought of finding new things in it. And that made us to think of reading. Yes, I think now I'm a good reader. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. I really like that one. A part of it too, we were asked to read the newspapers, but guys, I'll tell you another secret. When I was asked to read the newspaper, I went for the comics and then the search words, so that's it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so don't do that one, okay? But you can do it for your a break time or recess time if you wanted to. That's and right. then Siamela, do you remember, uh, at what kind of age did you start like sort of reading the books that you wanted? Mm, maybe after 12 that is mm -hmm. 12 or 13, picking books, what I really like to read and being selective mm -hmm. because otherwise, I think before that I was just reading whatever that I got. Mm -hmm. But So uh, at what age did you start reading like by yourself? 12. At 12? Oh wow. But still, that's a good one. You kind of basically know and can imagine things on your own, you know, like have the, have more, uh, uh, like probably information about what you're reading. Unlike when you are younger, we need the assistance of our parents. They do the, uh, not comical skits, or they have to uh, visualize it for us. Okay. At least this time you were really on your own. So... Now, among the books that you have read, is there any of your favorites that stands out to you and you remember well that you really like or love? Yes. So my mother tongue is Tamil. Mm -hmm. So we speak Tamil. In Sri Lanka, the community, uh, they have Sinhalese community and Tamil speaking community. Mm -hmm. So English is our second language. Mm -hmm. oh, so I didn't know that. Yeah, I really don't. Like us too, in the Philippines, we have our own tongue, mm -hmm. which is Tagalog. The next to it is Cebuano, but our international is also English. And at the time, during the time, and I don't know, don't quote me on this, which probably you can Google. I don't know what year did the other Asian countries started to speak English, but we have done English in school, so... That is right. Uh -huh. Because... I think 
that made my journey in the USA very quick. Oh yeah. So and among your siblings, are you the one? Do you guys read, or you're the only one that reads, or your cousins around you, something like that? Yeah. So only myself and my sister. So she's elder to me. Mm -hmm. So she started reading, and I have yeah. to follow her. Oh okay. So. Is it, was it a requirement? Because I know, like you said, it was a compulsory on your end. Do they, your parents really have to let you read towards like the end of the book? And do they have to ask you or not? Not at all. Not like that. They mm -hmm. wanted to make us read and make it as a habit. Oh, okay. And a hobby as well. Oh, uh, okay. So they allowed us to pick any books. Mm -hmm. So they don't want us to force read this book and tell me what it is. Oh, okay. summarize. Yeah. But... They wanted to make sure that we are reading something mm -hmm. and if we have any difficulty in finding the words, mm -hmm. we got the dictionary. Oh, that's a good one too. Guys, don't forget, if you, know, if you don't know the meaning, right, here's a teacher. If you don't know the meaning, use a dictionary and that's a good one. Thank that's you right. so much. <laughs> and we have the dictionary, English to Tamil. English to Tamil, Tamil that means oh, two wow. things. So it is very comprehensive and we may be able to uh, get more vocabulary mm -hmm. if we read or if we refer a dictionary, I would say. Yeah, can you, can you just tell me something about uh, your language like Tamil? Tamil, yes. Tamil, what is it? Like is it a uh, kind of more Latin, Spanish or something like that, which is, you know how some some countries they are like they have similarity that they speak more of this more than because it's really my first to hear about Tamil. Yes, in uh, southern part of India, that is Chennai or Madras, mm -hmm. they speak Tamil, and in according to my knowledge, Malaysia, Singapore. Oh, they, okay. Yes. So okay, now so, I got that one because you uh, with it when you said about Malaysia, Singapore. So basically, you guys kind of speak along that line, right? right? But still different. Yes. Okay. So uh, now, uh, do you have any favorite uh, superheroes when you were growing up, like uh, you look up to? or? Mm -hmm. So when I was small, the book I read was Ramayana. <laughs> so it is a kind of... Um, a tale of triumph of good over evil, oh, wow. where Lord Rama uh -huh. fought and killed the demon king Ravana oh, <laughs> to rescue his wife. So that was an interesting book. And for me, uh, Ram, Rama mm -hmm. is a superhero. Oh wow, that's like a, a good love story to me. Oh, I like it. So it is a lesson about Hindu culture and helps us to understand the true meaning of love, devotion, courage, and bravery. Oh, okay. And basically around that one, your culture is towards that. Uh, like you guys support more on like, uh, you know how us Filipinos, we are like uh, close family types and at the same time around that love, you know, and you, so we're kind of similar more or less when it comes to the culture, right? That's right. And anyway, that's another thing. Um, so along that line that how, uh, did you ever picture yourself that you wanted to be a teacher when you were, you know, growing up do you already know what you wanted to be or was it something else and then you became a teacher good question kids my way of learning is like teaching so when i was small i go to a room and i imitate that <laughs> as so i'm a teacher oh, wow. and when i explain something it goes into my mind so that is how I learned and that made me to become a teacher. Oh, so when you were really little, that's really what you wanted to that's be. That's right. No, you kind of like dramatize it mm -hmm. sort of that you're a teacher in an empty room and then you kind of teach yourself at the same time. Well, that's a very good advice. Okay, 
Now, speaking on the advice area, what encouragement can you give to the kids? Or, okay, yeah, is there any encouragement you can give to the kids? Yes, you would have got so many success in your life. And I would say, never step back. Always walk towards to the goal. And you will reach that one. Set your mindset that you will reach whatever the goal that you have and definitely you will get it to that level one day. Oh wow, I really love that one. That is really so cool. You're going to make me teary and cry. <laughs> um, so when on that note also, do you have like a quote or a something when you were growing up that you tell yourself to motivate yourself, you know? Do you have anything? Um, I would say Again, success is a journey, not a destination. Oh, wow. So Emily, I got graduated uh, last week. Oh, yeah, again. Yeah, true. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So, that means not that I finished my mm -hmm. dream. Mm -hmm. I have to look for what's next to me. Yeah, so the journey doesn't end. So, this is another part of your journey. It's just leveling up. So yeah, so kids, uh, this is really, oh, I am so really happy and blessed to have this one, this opportunity. I've learned so much and it's really true that even, you know, that a success is a, a journey. journey. So, and the never step back and go towards the goal. So that's really a good one. I am applying it now and I'm trying to remember it myself. So. Siamala, again, I really thank you so much for the privilege of your time. And kids, if you really have questions, I know I can feel it. I can sense it that you guys have questions for Siamala. And she'll be like among others. I would say this is not her last, but the questions you're going to send in, I will make sure that Siamala will get it. And then she's going to we'll have another talk and she'll answer your question guys and so again we thank you so much for tuning in and for now guys we just wanted to say bye and you guys take care it's my pleasure bye, bye.